what we're seeing with this new generation is much less less interest in me and much more interest in service. Uh, they no longer want to uh, live by the conventional paradigm. They have grown up in an interconnected world and understand this concept of interdependence. And I think they are uh, looking at things a different way. And again, uh, the bankers are uh, trying to survive utilizing the same paradigm. And like most bureaucracies uh, or behemoth institutions, uh, they are not nimble nor are they quick. And I think that, getting back to what others have said, uh, the creation of a disruptive technology that appeals to what millennials, if you will, are interested in could have a profound effect. As an example, the gentleman who made a comment about the shoebox, et cetera. You know, people, young people are looking at Kiva as an example. How can I invest and also invest in a way in which it benefits other people? And I think uh, if there was a forward thinking banking institution, and I, one of the comments I was going to make was you know, I think this might even appeal to Warren Buffett, is to put money aside to to create what uh, Bruce has talked about, this good bank, as an experiment in which these um, uh, studies uh, can be implemented in regard to human behavior, uh, creating transparency, democratizing the banking institutions, creating educational components that make people feel uh, comfortable with what they're doing, and in fact that the end result is not a CEO making 50 or 100 million dollars, but that those funds uh, uh, from the profits are actually utilized additionally uh, for the benefit of the community in which the bank is located or for the greater world at large. And I think that message would have a profound, profound resonance with the uh, group of millennials.